Dear students, do you remember what we have learned in your last class about exponents? We have learned that very small numbers can be expressed in standard form using negative exponents. We have also learned that when a is a non-zero number and n is a natural number, a raised to minus n is 1 divided by a raised to n. a raised to minus n is called the multiplicative inverse of a raised to n. In today's class, we are going to learn more details about powers and exponents. We will also learn some of the properties of powers and exponents. How to find 2 raised to 2 times 2 raised to 3? It is 2 raised to 2 plus 3 which is equal to 2 raised to 5. How you are getting this? 2 raised to 2 times 2 raised to 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 which is 2 raised to 5. Hence, if n and m are positive integers and a is any non-zero number, a raised to n times a raised to m is equal to a raised to m plus n. We also know other laws of exponents which are a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equal to a raised to m minus n where m greater than n. a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to mn. Will the same laws of exponents work when m and n are negative integers? We will check with some examples. Let us try to find 3 raised to minus 2 times 3 raised to minus 3. We know that 3 raised to minus 2 is equal to 1 divided by 3 square and 3 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 divided by 3 raised to 3. So, 3 raised to minus 2 times 3 raised to minus 3 is equal to 1 divided by 3 square times 1 divided by 3 cube which is equal to 1 divided by 3 raised to 2 plus 3 which is equal to 1 divided by 3 raised to 5 which can be written as 3 raised to minus 5. Hence, 3 raised to minus 2 times 3 raised to minus 3 is equal to 3 raised to minus 5. You can try the following problems in the same method. 2 raised to minus 1 times 2 raised to minus 3. Minus 5 raised to minus 2 times minus 5 raised to 4. 4 raised to minus 2 times 4 square. p raised to minus 3 times p raised to 10. 3 raised to minus 2 times 3 raised to 5 times 3 raised to minus 4. From these problems, we can arrive at a conclusion that for any integers m and n, a raised to n times a raised to m is equal to a raised to m plus n where a is a non-zero integer. In a similar way, we can verify the following laws of exponents where a and b are non-zero integers and m and n are any integers. a raised to n divided by a raised to m is equal to a raised to n minus m. a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to mn. a raised to n times b raised to n is equal to a b raised to n a raised to n divided by b raised to n is equal to a by b whole raised to n. Using the law of exponents, we can change the base of a number expressed in the exponential form. Let us try to express 4 raised to minus 3 as power with base 2. We know that 4 is equal to 2 times 2 which is 2 square. Hence, 4 raised to minus 3 is 2 square 
whole raised to minus 3. Since a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to mn, 4 raised to minus 3 is equal to 2 raised to minus 6. Now let us try another problem. If 2 raised to n times 2 raised to minus 4 is equal to 2 square, what will be n? By law of exponents, left hand side can be written as 2 raised to n minus 4. Then 2 raised to n minus 4 equal to 2 square. So n minus 4 equal to 2 and hence n equal to 6. About exponents, we already know that a raised to 0 equal to 1 from previous class. One can observe the following. 1 raised to 0 is equal to 1 raised to 1 equal to 1 square equal to 1 raised to minus 1 equal to 1 raised to minus 2 all are equal to 1. Hence, we can say that 1 raised to n is equal to 1 for any integer n. Also note that minus 1 raised to 0 equal to minus 1 square equal to minus 1 raised to 4 equal to minus 1 whole raised to minus 2 equal to minus 1 raised to minus 4 all are equal to 1. Hence, minus 1 raised to n equal to 1 for any even integer n. Note that if a is not equal to 1 or minus 1, a raised to n equal to 1 implies n equal to 0. Now, let us see few applications of exponents. Distance from earth to sun is 1496 crore meters. It can be written in standard form 1.496 times 10 raised to 11 meters. Similarly, we can write very small numbers in standard form. For example, average diameter of a red blood cell is 0 0.0000. 007 mm which is 7 divided by 10 raised to 6 which is equal to 7 times 10 raised to minus 6 millimeter. Thus we can use the exponents to express very small numbers as well as large numbers in standard form. Let us recollect what we have learned in today's class. We have extended the laws of exponents to integer exponents that is a raised to n times a raised to m is equal to a raised to m plus n. a raised to n divided by a raised to m is equal to a raised to n minus m. a raised to m whole raised to n is equal to a raised to mn. a raised to n times b raised to n is equal to a b whole raised to n. a raised to n divided by b raised to n is equal to a by b whole raised to n, where a and b are non-zero integers and m and n are any integers. We have also seen that if a is not equal to 1 or minus 1, a raised to n equal to 1 implies n equal to 0. We also learned how to write very big numbers and very small numbers in standard form. Thank you. Have a nice day.